sport and uh, you can forget the Euro 2004 qualifiers. There's a Lincolnshire derby to look forward to tomorrow as Lincoln City make the short journey to Scunthorpe. I forgot them already. Today players <laughs> from United anyway. were <laughs> Today players from United were quizzed about the game not by members of the press but some younger budding reporters. <laughs> Simon Clark is not one of those. He's at Glamford <laughs> Park. <laughs> Well, this is the tunnel area here at Glanford Park, where tomorrow Lincoln and Scunthorpe players will be marching out ahead of the big game. But I'm going to take you to the newest part of this stadium. And this is it, Scunthorpe United's impressive new study centre here at Glanford Park. Over the coming months and years, pupils from all over North Lincolnshire will be invited here to improve their skills. And that included school children today from St Hugh's in Scunthorpe. When did you know that you wanted to be a footballer? Ooh, a very long time ago, because I'm very, very... <laughs> Searching questions for Peter Beagree and colleague Kevin Sharp. These special needs pupils were getting an insight into their favourite players' minds. Apart from being questioned about themselves, there was a hands-on element with both helping with reading and computer skills. Refreshing after the bad press footballers had this week. It just shows that we are role models um, to a certain degree and, uh, you know, you really have got to sort of watch what you do sort of like, you know, on and off the field and uh, just to see these kids, I mean, it just makes you feel as though you want to be a role model to them. The best part was seeing footballers and on the computers. I wrote all the questions down on the computer. So you wrote some questions down on the computer. What else did you do? I, uh, I interviewed the players. The study centre is considered to be one of the best of its type in the country. No wonder. It was smiles all round at the end. <laughs> well, one of the stars of the film there, Peter Beagree of Scunthorpe United. Peter, what was it like today and uh, what did you help the children with? Well, uh, you know, computer skills and uh, not that I'm computer literate at all. They were teaching me things, basically. But listening to them read and, you know, they put a tremendous amount of effort in. And um, I think just the concept of a study support centre in general is a great idea and, and the hard work that um, the club and, and the people involved have put in has, has really come to fruition. And all this on the day that you're preparing for one of the biggest games of the season, your neighbours Lincoln City visiting tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, Lincoln are all very, t very organised, very tough side, and um, you know we'll be looking to get uh, divine retribution by getting the full three points because of our uh, disappointment in the playoffs. Thank you very much indeed, Peter. Great to see you again. And that game, incidentally, that Scunthorpe Lincoln game on BBC Radio Lincolnshire tomorrow. It's their commentary game over on Radio Humberside. The commentary comes from the South Coast, Brighton and Hove Albion against Grimsby Town. And incidentally, Nick Barmby is their summariser on the Hull City Carlisle game on Sunday. Now there's a new book that's hitting the bookshelves in Lincolnshire. This is it, one hell of a season, and it charts last season at both Sinselbank and York Street, Lincoln City and Boston United. There was. A Two book launches then, as you would expect, one at Sinsel Bank and here at Boston United in the company of Chairman Des Wood and Neil Thompson. And I can tell you that several hundred have flown off the uh, sales shelves already. And you've got a chance to win this book then, one hell of a season. Here's a simple question for you. Which striker played for both Lincoln City and Boston United last season? Email us, looknorth at bbc.co.uk. That's looknorth at bbc.co.uk. And we'll announce the winner during next week's Look North. <laughs>